you, sir. Good morning, teachers. We thank God for this opportunity to celebrate this year's World Teachers Day. We, the Peace House Education Mission, heartily welcome all of you to this memorable day as we celebrate this year's World Teachers Day. The World Teachers Day was established in 1994 and it commemorates the signing of the 1996 UNESCO and ILO recommendations concerning the status of teachers. The theme for this year, 2020, teachers leading in crisis, reimagining the future, is a recognition by the United Nations of the very critical role the teacher must play if the world must experience the peace they so desire. Governments around the world have placed emphasis on economic power as if that is a chief factor that will bring about the well-being of the society. Great efforts have been committed to economic development and a lot is still being done. Unfortunately, the world is sinking deeper by the day into the quagmire of crisis in different fronts. There are different agencies that are put in place to bring order to the society. They range from the judiciary to the military, correctional service, and so on. Yet, all these services are not able to produce a stable, well-balanced person. It is, the, it is only the teacher that has the capacity to mold lives while they are yet malleable. The teacher's mandate is the development of the human capital. The aspiration of the society can only be achieved if the teacher is allowed to impact the lives of learners from their early years. The crisis that has engulfed the world today is not a chance matter. Every soul that is born on earth is endowed with great potentials that could have been of great benefit to mankind. Unfortunately, those that the teacher omitted grew only to become wild. These are the people that constitute the group that has become a trouble to the world. The theme of this year's World Teachers Day is an indication that the world is recognizing that only the teachers can give an assurance of a crisis-free future. Whatever we want the future to be can only become a reality if the teacher is mobilized to do his or her work effectively. As we celebrate the World Teachers Day today, may it be imprinted on our minds that the issue of well peace and well being is in our hands. We must rise up to this challenge as teachers. There has never been a crisis deeper than the matter of sin that engulfed the whole world. We saw God in solving the crisis, Saint Jesus, who was rightly called Rabbi, which, when interpreted, means teacher into the world. Just as Jesus, by, by teaching both by life and death, brought peace into the world. In the same vein, if we give our hearts to teaching effectively, showing by life and pattern that can broker peace and infusing it from childhood till the child is established, we too will lead the world out of crisis. As we commemorate this year's uh, World Teachers Day, we also hereby introduce you to a you introduce you all to a quarterly teacher seminar with the intent to contribute to refreshing and equipping teachers. We are convinced when a teacher has a correct vision of the future of the learners, he or she will labor with a mission to produce each one of them to be part of the much needed, well-developed, stable and balanced human capital 
of the nations. The quarterly seminar will be a refresher training in different educational aspects to sharpen the teacher for a more excellent performance in the discharge of his calling. Very highly qualified and seasonal education, seasoned educationists will handle this discourse. You are welcome to the training. Congratulations, great teachers, on this World Teachers Day. We wish you all a very happy celebration. <laughs>